It's your favorite all-time Halloween costume. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, Chucky. <laughs> and Scream. Chucky cheese? No. <laughs> <laughs> Chucky and Scream. Those are my two favorites. What's the mindset of this team uh, going to the Falcons game? Is, is this a must win? Every game is a must win, but we definitely got to – we got to pull this one out um, as we think we take that approach every week. But, like, we got to come together, put our, put, our, put our plays together, and play as a unit. How much can you take from the second half of that game last week into this week right here, the, some things you can build on? We play confident and fast. We can score with anybody. And I feel like that was, that's been our thing. Like, we, we get to the red zone and don't put up enough points. Uh, so just finishing our drives. Ending the drives with seven and not so much three. We love Brandon, but I mean, he's taking care of us a lot. So uh, I'm trying to give him an off day. Why has complimentary football been so hard? I don't know. Uh, that's a great question. Nah, uh, we just definitely not, we not like when the defense get their stops, we not going to score or our, vice versa. Like when we're not scoring, they're not getting a stop. Or when we score, they're not getting a stop. So it's just, we just got to put, the components together. Um, at the end of the day, we got to pick our brothers up, regardless of what happens. Give them the confidence, and the confidence is going to go throughout the team. So, uh, with that being said, we got to make these routine plays and be able to hype each other up. And then it comes with momentum. There been a couple of times in your history with Doc that the interceptions have piled up on him a little bit. What, what do you feel like you can do to kind of help get him through a stretch like this? What sort of owners do you find yourself to kind of help protect the ball? I mean, we always got next week, you know what I'm saying? So, dwelling on the past is. is it's not our job. That's not what we're here to do. We got to go out there and play and then obviously not make the same mistakes. But as for him, these past couple of weeks he has, he knows that he's aware. And I mean, his best thing is to correct it. And for us, we got to get open, create lanes, create avenues for him to throw in. And um, with that comes great route running and details in, in and out of offense. You guys have had a lot of success the last three years. Is a three and four star kind of just jarring? a little bit for you guys and then having to really respond to that and adapt to that? Not at all. It's just a little adversity. I mean, if you can't respond to this, then you ain't going to be able to respond to anything in this league. So for us, obviously, we adversity hit us early, but we still got 10 more games to go. What makes, why is, what makes Trayvon Diggs so competitive? Because you see him every day in practice. What makes him so competitive? Yeah, what do, what do you see when you see him? Does he just go after you all the time? What, do, what is it about him? Nah, he's a competitor. You ask your, you answer your own question with the question. But uh, no, nah, his ability, his approach every day to practice, obviously his willingness to, to get better, obviously to read the offense and understand what Dak is doing, understand reads, try to pick everybody's brain. So for him, just being on the offensive side of the ball at defense and understanding our concepts. What are your thoughts on the Falcons secondary? A lot of big names with Jesse Bates, Justin sure. Simmons, AJ Terrell. Boy's nice. Uh, they got a young group back there, and Jesse Bates is playing his best ball, obviously. Um, being in the same class as AJ Terrell, very familiar with him. He's a hell of a corner. Very tall, lengthy, got ball skills, very aggressive. And then I think they got Justin Simmons over there, too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. He's a ball hawk himself. So uh, we got our hands full, but I'm sure we can handle up. How much is tempo or how much can tempo help the offense and instead of waiting till two minute drills and maybe bringing some of that earlier in the game? A lot. Uh, we're in town on the defense. Obviously, they, they're not going to be able to get their calls in fast enough and be able to adjust if we're going fast enough. So uh, with that, I mean, I feel like we can incorporate that in our offense and keep them boys on them hills. Did you find something last week? Was there something different or is it just a matter of you're open more and you're getting the ball? A uh, little bit of both. Uh, we found we found our rhythm. We caught our stride, and I was definitely getting open and getting the ball. So uh, I feel like it goes hand in hand, and I look to continue to do that. When you get as wide open as you were on those two touchdowns, what's going through your mind as the ball is coming? Because you're not used to. I'm not thinking. I just know I need to catch this ball. Uh, obviously, we're down 17, if I'm not mistaken. Down 17 at the time. My then goal was to catch the ball, score a touchdown, get out the field, and then get back on and do the same thing. Repeat, repeat. They're lucky I didn't get it the third time. Has it been a feeling of a sense of urgency the last couple of weeks just because of the up and downness of your team? Uh, no. Yeah, sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sense of urgency to win, yeah, absolutely. But uh, as far as a sense of urgency for anything else, we just need to get better overall as a unit. How do you feel like you've, you think it's been hard to do that? Ahead. No. No, why not? You think it's been hard to have that sense of urgency when we don't see the the consistency with the wins. Say that again. Why do you think 
the sense of urgency isn't an issue when we don't see the end result that you want, which is... Sense of urgency as in what? You said there is a sense of urgency, so how come that hasn't helped in the sense in terms of getting some... The sense of urgency is wins. to make consistent plays and outperform our opponent. We got to make bigger plays, um, more big plays than they do, and get in the end zone more than they do versus us. How different has the season played out than what your expectations are? Say that again. How different has the season played out to this point than what your expectations are? I mean, uh, we are four losses in, so that's definitely different. I was not expecting that. But uh, now you got to take it for what it is and then move on, you know. Um, with that came a lot of growth. It came a lot of experience and understanding. Obviously, for me, coming in late, it was a little bit of a different road. But now I'm, I'm, I'm a part of this, and I'm full. I'm bought in. Like, I have no doubts about any of this. So uh, just going in and taking advantage of these next 10 opportunities that I have guaranteed, and we'll see what's happening at the end of the road. CD, Appreciate Mike it. was talking today about the walkthrough may not have been the best. Last week he mentioned walkthroughs. Have you seen walkthroughs not be so crisp or how would you describe Recently? It? Yeah. Or as far as this you week or? today it wasn't, and I think last week you also mentioned It's just we having a lot of reloads. Obviously, there's a lot of details within the offense that we have to, like, it's a lot of moving parts, you know what I'm saying? So just going from the meeting room right to the, the walkthrough, that's what, it, that's what it's there for, you know what I'm saying? To get your your reloads, get your things out, and then when you get on the field, you go out full speed and then you execute. So as far as for us, yeah, we've had plenty of um, reloads in the walkthrough, and, I mean, I can't go against that. Is that just because it's a young team? Last one. No, uh, just new schemes as far as game planning, only game planning, not so much – New offense. It's just new, incorporating new things, different guys moving, different places, moving pieces. And I mean, overall, we got. I mean, it's our job. We gotta. We gotta be able to take it from the meeting room and bring it to life. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate Thank you. it.